Hello again, fierce loves. Welcome back. If you're new to my channel, my name is Elizabeth, your girl with a fierce style. So in my channel, I do a lot of SLG, bag videos, beauty, perfumes, gadgets, and so much more. If you're interested, go ahead and make sure that you subscribe and check out all of my other videos here on my channel. So as I promised from yesterday, wherein I filmed this bag, and the other day I filmed this bag, so for the third day, I am finally filming another Michael Kors Soho bag. So without further ado, let's get started. So I have a lot of Michael Kors bag videos here on my channel. And also I unbox some shoes and then accessories, watches, wallets, and so much more. So if you're interested in that, check out my Michael Kors videos also, yeah. So here it is. Um, the reason why it's not on the box is because this one and this bag, they came on one box. And that's why I unboxed that one without the box also. So I just like removed it and then yeah. Now I'm gonna unwrap it with you guys. Okay, so I have all three sizes. So we have the extra large, the first one I unboxed. And the, um, it was actually the last one I ordered. It was like these two, they came together. All right, so of course, it is wrapped on Michael Kors tissue paper. Okay. And um, it has lots of wrappings and all that. I usually just like unwrap it off camera because it might take quite some time. All right, so here it is, the ever so beautiful Michael Michael Kors Soho in a large quilted leather shoulder bag. And the color for this one is luggage. This is very comparable or a lot of influencers and YouTubers have compared this with Chanel in the color caramel for the flat bags. And um, I do not have that. It's one of those bags that are hard to come by because it's been some years before they um have the that color once again and i believe that they have it in the chanel 19 editions if i'm not mistaken um, right here we have the tag and it says the number and it says the name lg chain shoulder leather luggage that's the things that is written in there and then um, the front part, we have like some square quilting in there. The feel of this is so nice also. Let me just read from the Michael Kors website the details. And once again, it says that the beloved Soho shoulder bag named after the iconic New York City neighborhood is crafted from leather with a chic quilted finish for a mix of uptown, polish, and downtown cool. A push lock fastening opens the sizable interior to stow your wallet, keys, and lipstick, while an exterior back pocket will keep your phone within arm's reach. It is lambskin, 100% leather, gold tone for the hardware, and it's a very pretty combination of the gold tone hardware with this beautiful luggage collar of the bag. And for the dimensions, we have the length is 9.75 inches. The height will be 6.5 inches. And here, the width will be 3.5 inches. The strap is adjustable from 12 inches to 22. The inside has a 100% polyester lining. It has a dust bag because... A so beautiful. This is how it looks once again. The sides are square quilted also. This is a view from the top. And in the bottom, of course, it does not have a feet as it's not a handbag anyway. But it's nicely quilted there and beautiful gold hardware on the both sides. The strap is like so and there is this um, leather part right here 
to protect her shoulder. So what I do is that if I have them um, like double chained like this, I just put the extra chain on top of the leather so it will not hurt my shoulder like that. And it usually works. Otherwise, I usually wear them crossbody, especially when I'm in a hurry. And then, yep, this one goes against my shoulder. The back part of it has an exterior pocket. It's a slide pocket here, which I really love because it fits your phone. And it also has a magnetic closure right there. So it keeps things safe in there. So your phone fits at the back. For example, here is an iPhone 12 Pro Max, about the same as the 13 Pro Max, and as you see, there's a lot of room. I have the super thick case with lots of customization here, pink bling and all of that. And yeah, so that still fits in there, not a problem. Could easily grab your phone also and then use it, grab and go. And then let's go ahead and check out the interior part of it. And just, let's just focus on this push lock closure first. We can see the Michael Kors logo right there. And it's just so stunning. There's an extra leather here. Not just a design, but also functional. Because if you push this down, then you lift it up like so. And then you'll be able to open it. You will notice that it's still square quilted up to this part. And it's a very nice leather. And we have Michael Kors logo stamped in there in gold. This is how it looks in the inside. So this bigger compartment right here starts with a slit pocket wherein you can put your card holders or whatnot. And then big space that could fit your continental long wallet. Here, I am quite sure that on this zip part, they have the... Yep, the put the dust bag right there so you can use that for whatever you wanted to put in there too and then the last compartment right here at the very back it's like this and we have a zipped closure at the back most part so the zip closure has a leather zipper puller also and um, you can put there much more important things. At the moment, we can see that the care card is right there. But of course, care card. Now, we are going to talk about what fits inside this beautiful Michael Michael Kors Soho Large Quilted Shoulder Bag. All right, so let's start with wallets. We already know, we have already established that a large phone could fit in there even the ones that are larger than the 12 pro max those android phones that are so tall so wide could easily fit in there not a problem but a lot of the ladies still use continental wallets like this it's the full size long wallets so then you could see that that fits not a problem you can put that here on the bigger compartment if you wanted to. Took a lot of space though. I do not really use continental wallets here in Europe. I use them when I am in Asia or other countries where in um, they don't really use the cards or like those places that has lots of street food because we would rather have cash um, and easy access money for like when we buy on the street and then um, the street markets. I love those. <laughs> All right, so what I really bring is this one, and you have seen this in millions of my videos. And um, what's inside this one, I have made a video already, so don't you worry about it. Just check it out at the end of this video. Um, so yeah, you have an idea because this has my makeup kit and some of the emergency stuff. It's like some little bit of medicine too. And then it leaves me still some space over there. Four key ring holder, still the old one, but I'm changing this very soon. This is nothing special. If somebody would ask again, it's just a, an anime one that fits there. The car keys, but yeah, like I just like squeeze that in there too. And basically, the first bigger compartment is now filled. Okay, so I usually also bring eyeglasses. I wear contact lens, but um, sometimes I really wanted to wear my eyeglasses instead. And this is prescription. 
and then um, I already have some lip products there but I just wanted to show you that a tiny lip balm or a lip gloss would fit you can even put that on top if you want or like just squeeze it in um, the sides here on the front main compartment that's the two of them right there what else okay oh my gosh my current case for my airpods is so big so this is my airpods pro and i have the Let's put it on top right there um i usually have a perfume i already have a perfume inside my makeup bag it's a small automizer but um i also wanted to bring some of this travel perfumes could put that on the very side right yeah. there vix inhaler <laughs> I, I wanted that. Okay, Asians would know. <laughs> and they are all in there. So I'm gonna close this bag now. That we're ready. I am literally going to use this to go to work. So I do not have to like um, remove the stuff in here. Because that's about it. This is what I'm gonna use. Okay. I think I made it a little too full. But that's what I wanted to do on my videos. Really make sh you see the how full it could be and the things that you can squeeze in there so you can just like change things up you can like probably put like a tiny um, umbrella if it's uh, rainy and let's like remove the other things but I still have this part for my phone but um, I usually leave this phone home and I am taking my Samsung Z Flip or my iPhone 13 in pink so either of the two and sometimes I bring them both so maybe this time we just put the iPhone 13 here and this is full at its finest <laughs> look at that there's a little bit of bump here uh, okay but no I like I pushed it down and yeah so there that is how full you could have it but yeah, so that is all of the things that could fit inside of this beautiful bag. So there you have it for yourselves. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. And I just wanted to tell you that I may not have been a fan of brown before. But seeing this and feeling it, it's really making me super happy because it's such a beautiful bag. I love the color. I love the composition. This is really one of those bags that Michael Kors really made right. And now they have lots of rendition of it. They um, come up with like um, mixed materials. There's like uh, canvas and then yeah some other materials and then there's some studs before which is one of the first Michael Kors bags that I unboxed here live on my YouTube channel so you, you can also go ahead and check that out and I have one more video coming up hopefully very soon we're in I am going to compare all three bags this small one and the large one I think they should have like called this like small, medium, and large or like I don't know are they gonna make a medium because how? <laughs> Alright so that and then of course I have the extra large which I am like just super lucky to grab and I also have this from or got this from the Michael Kors website when it just like magically popped up in there and look at that color okay it's a different video don't you worry guys let's do that and if you wanted to inspire me on making that video comment down below just tell me like do it soon <laughs> so i will like um yeah just be pushed to do it yeah, and so um for those of you who are not um ready to splurge into a chanel bag yet into a chanel flat bag yet then why not go ahead and buy a, this michael kors soho bags because they are just about the same um a lot of the other influencers have made videos comparing the sizes and what fits and they are almost the same of course except for the super crazy price point <laughs> and um yeah chanel is yeah of course it's a little it's legendary it's been there for so long it's a very luxurious brand yeah but i really think that this is also so stunning so yes i love it and no regrets on getting this color even though i'm a pink lover because it's really beautiful yeah 
All right, so if you have any other requests, any questions about this bag, let's continue the conversation down below. And don't forget to follow me on social media. All of those are at The Fierce Style. Yeah, love you all. And remember to stay fierce and fly high. See you on my next video. <music>